Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up stream labels within your stream within Streamlabs OBS. If you are looking for a full fledged overview of how to utilize and use Streamlabs OBS, which you probably need to know before this video, I'll link that down below as well. Now, what are stream labels? Stream labels are what you see below me right here. You see the nice little green icons with the text over to the right of those. As you can see here, I have the top donator. I also have the most recent donation, and then I also also have the most recent subscription or the most recent follower. It doesn't matter if you're utilizing Twitch, YouTube, Mixer, it doesn't matter. There's all kinds of different things that stream labels allows you to do. It makes your stream look cleaner and it also recognizes those people for a long amount of time on the screen. And it also can start like donation wars to where you can possibly monetize and make more money from your stream. So let's dive into it. Let's figure out how to set up stream labels and the process that is involved. So let's Let's go. First thing you need to do is download Streamlabs OBS if you haven't already. Again, if you're watching this, I assume you know at least a bare minimum about Streamlabs OBS. Now, when you have installed Streamlabs OBS, you can download it here, the big green button. I'll have the link in the description of this video. All of the different tools of the trade are going to be over on the left hand side. Now, we are not within the application yet. We'll be doing that shortly. What I want you to do is go to streamlabs.com and log in to either your YouTube channel or your Twitch channel, depending upon which one we're going to be setting it up on today. So next thing I want you to do is scroll down to where you see widgets. This is where all of the magic is going to happen. This is where you're going to see something that says stream labels. Click on stream labels there, and then you're going to be presented with this page. There's going to be a brief tutorial about stream labels. It's a bare minimum. They do a good job of showing you, but if you really want to implement it, there's a few other things, a few other steps you need to take place. And so with that being said, I would encourage you to watch it, get a full scope on what they say that stream labels are, and then go go back and watch this video and I'll show you how to implement them at a more in-depth level. So stream labels, again, as I said, uh, there is an application that's going to be run separately. So you've got to download an application. So there is an application download link for Windows here, and there's a download application link for OS 10 if you're on a Mac, and then Linux, they say, is coming very soon. Now, what does this application look like? Once you have installed it, it's going to look like this. All right, now you can see the difference in the stream labels application and the Streamlabs OBS. Obviously they work in tandem, so don't worry about that. So once you open up stream labels and by the way, stream labels must be open every time you stream in order for the labels to update properly. Now you can choose whether or not you want the labels to be on a weekly basis, like the top donator for a week, or you can say top donator for a month or top donator this session. Again, if you're a smaller streamer, maybe extend the time a little bit. If you're a larger streamer, then maybe just do it per session or per week, whatever you want to do. So as you can see, the recent events here under stream labels, you'll see memberships, you'll see uh, subscriptions, you'll see donations over here on the right, and you can set all of this up according to how you want it. Realistically, there's nothing that you need to do here except for opening the app. Now there are some settings up here. If we go into settings, you can say always show zero when inactive, always show zero, zero when inactive. None of this really matters. So really what I would recommend you doing is just just opening up the app, make sure you're logged in with your YouTube or Twitch account, and then just minimize that somewhere on your desktop. The next thing I want you to do is open up Streamlabs. Now you can see this is Streamlabs OBS. Now what I've done here is I've actually created a demo scene very similar to one of my streaming scenes. As you can see below my webcam border here, these this is where the Streamlabs or the stream labels will be, will be located. Now, you can just have this to where it's going to be normal text. So if you want to keep things simple and it won't look as clean, you can basically just have the text show up from stream labels somewhere on your stream. So somewhere here, as you can see, I can have the most recent donator anywhere and you can adjust this just like you would any source. I can have this come up anywhere like right here beside my webcam if I want to, just like this here. And then whenever a top donation comes in, it will change right here on the right-hand side. But 
What I recommend you doing is finding some image or some media source like what I've done here to make it look a little better. Now, I've done a lot of work to make this look good myself. What I recommend you do is you go and you Google um, stream labels, designs, or whatever you want to do. I will actually pull up right now where I purchase and get all of my assets for my streams. All right, as you can see, the name of this site is nerdordie.com. They've got a ton of great free assets and resources, but what I will tell you is this. The ones that obviously are the better ones are going to be the paid for versions. Now these range anywhere from two, four, six, all the way up to 30, 40, 50 bucks, depending on how in depth these different assets are. As you can see, when I open up my stream labs here, I have an animated webcam border. I also have an animated stream label background here below. So what that means is that when I go ahead and open up stream labels and then put my text down here within the image on top of the media source here, you're going to see kind of a little animation a little bit of a left to right here as the green kind of pulsates over the actual stream labels. It makes it look better. It gives it a more professional, slick, cleaner look if you want that within your stream. So basically all you need to do is go to some place like nerdordie.com, click around, find the different notification. And not only do they have the different uh, stream labels as well, but they also provide you with notifications like this one here. I've actually downloaded this exact package. And if you go down to the bottom here, it'll actually run you through. Here's the event list that I'm actually using right now. Um, it'll actually tell you about the alert pack, the actual description here, and you can watch a video of everything that's included. Again, some are free, some are paid, but you can do stream labels even if you don't have any of this fancy stuff. You'll just have the text, like I mentioned, on top of your desktop or on top of the game, and you can create something in Photoshop. Very simple. Again, you can go as far or you can go do as little as you want when it comes to these stream labels. Now, how do we set these up? Within Streamlabs OBS, when we go down here and we add a source, all we have to do is go to the addition symbol here, add a source. There's going to be one here within Streamlabs OBS that is called Stream Label. That's why I love Streamlabs OBS because it pulls everything from their software and it's such a great asset to have. So once you select Stream Label, click the green button here that says Add Source. Now, I'm going to go ahead and add a new source here and then we're going to go ahead and edit and change the actual label. Now, the label type is going to be the actual type of label that's going to be on your desktop or on your screen as you stream. As you can see here, as I've mentioned before, we have donors, monthly top donor, session top donor, and you can refresh the session from within the stream labels application, which I was going to, you know, showing you earlier. You have top donors, top 10, all time top donors. You have the, um, the donation amount here. You have the most recent donor. You have subscriptions for uh, whether you want a subscriber count. We can, we can change it to a subscriber count here, which is, this is something that I probably will do in the very near future. So say I want a subscriber count. Let's go ahead and stick to this one. Uh, once you've selected the label type and again, play around with it, find what works best for you. And again, you want to optimize these to, to, to try to make people take action on your stream, because this is showing them that you care. This is showing them that you're giving them recognition for the action that they are taking. So down here under font family, I always go with Babus new regular. It's just a favorite font of mine. And then we can increase or decrease the actual font size here. But what I like to do actually is go here and click done. And then I go ahead and adjust the size right here below. So as you can see, maybe I want to include that on top of my webcam. 241,826 subscribers is what I have currently on my YouTube channel. Again, you can go and edit and change that if you want. And again, if you need to edit that, you can double click on this down below, like I was showing you guys before, underneath the text, just like you would any source you're adding to your actual stream. So down below, you can see here uh, that uh, label template will be count. You can change that if you want. You can change the opacity. You can change the alignment, the background color, everything here you can change. So much actual information here that you can change. And if I want to go and change the actual label type, I can go here and go down below where it says uh, subscribers, uh, session subscribers, session subscriber count, most recent subscriber. There's so many things that you can do. And then once someone takes action, that will change automatically on your stream. But in order for that to happen, you've got to make sure that you have the stream labels application open. If you don't, it's not going to happen. So as you can see here, Games with Chase was the most recent subscription that I have on my channel. And so when you open up Streamlabs here, you can see Games with Chase is now the most recent subscriber on my channel.
as soon as someone else subscribes to my YouTube channel, that will show up here. Now, these images here, as I mentioned before, these are images that I've purchased that I'm utilizing to kind of show a visual of what exactly the labels are for. Uh, and so that's something that I highly recommend that you do as well. Um, as far as anything else that, you know, I want to show you guys as far as utilizing the stream labels, there's really nothing else to show you except for the fact of understanding that if you want this to work, stream labels app has to be open. You have to be using Streamlabs OBS for this actual tutorial to be helpful for you. Other than that, this is just a really cool way to show recognition to those people who are taking action, whether they're subbing, they're following, they're donating, super chatting, whatever. This is a great way to let those folks know, hey, I recognize, I appreciate what you're doing, and here's you a little bit of screen real estate on the stream. Thank you guys, as always, for watching. Hopefully you found some benefit out of this tutorial. If you did, please like the video, share it with someone who you think might find this valuable. And until next time, guys, keep streaming, keep grinding, keep putting in the work, and I'll talk to you in the next video.